Hello and welcome to A-Level Media Studies at Rawlins Academy. The media is dynamic, innovative and influential. Adults in Great Britain are consuming media for almost eight hours every day. This means that we are bombarded by other people's representations of the world and how we respond to these representations um, will affect our perceptions of people, of places, of society, our perceptions of politics and culture, um, our perceptions of ourselves and our place in the world. Media production is a really thriving industry. Um, in 2019, um, the media industry grew more than five times more than the UK economy as a whole. Um, and every single hour, the media industry contributes £13 million to our economy. Um, which means that there's a whole wealth of jobs out there if you're interested in pursuing a career in that area. On A-Level Media Studies, uh, you will develop the ability to critically analyse a wide range of media texts and you will also develop media production skills across a range of mediums. So it's a really diverse course and a really interesting course. There are three components of study. The first, component one, is media products, industries and audiences. This is an examined unit and this will include analysing the media language and representation in a wide range of media products. Uh, this includes uh, print and TV adverts, um, there are two music videos um, that we are required to study, there is Formation by Beyonce and there is Riptide by Vance Joy. Um, we look at the film trailer and film marketing for Black Panther and also for the British film I, Daniel Blake. Um, in terms of gaming, we look at the Assassin's Creed franchise uh, and in terms of newspapers, uh, we look at specific Times and Mirror front pages which are linked to Brexit and um, we look at the, or listen to, the radio show Late Night Women's Hour. Um, and. Um, so we will know the texts that are on this exam. There are two unseen texts um, that are a surprise, but we know most of the texts that are on the exam and you'll be required to analyse the language and the representation within these um, and to demonstrate your understanding of the media industries and the makeup of their audiences. Uh, this is assessed in the summer of uh, year 13. Uh, it's a two hour, 15 minute exam, but that includes a 15 minute viewing time and um, you do have obviously prior access to the video clips and the printed media text so most of the texts are known to you. The second um, component on A-Level Media Studies is um, an examined unit called Media Forms and Products in Depth and this comes in three sections. Um, so the first section is on television, uh, we focus on crime drama and the uh, the focus texts are an episode from um, a programme called Life on Mars and an episode from the Swedish crime drama The Bridge. Um, we also, there is also a section on magazines and um, again there are scene texts that we know that what we're going to be studying and we look at a slightly older episode of Vogue and a more current episode of The Big Issue. And the final section is um, about online media and um, in this we are looking at Zoella as a social media influencer so across all of her different platforms and um, the website Attitude um, and we will be analysing each pair of texts in depth comparing them looking at the film language the representations um, within um, those media products again this is assessed in the summer of year 13 it's a two and a half hour exam the final component is uh, called Creating Media and that is the NEA component, the coursework component, the non-exam assessment and in this you will produce two linked products but in different mediums. So for example, you might produce an extract from a new crime drama um, that you've developed and then a, news, a magazine article about that crime drama or you might produce a music video for a new or fictional possibly up-and-coming artist and then you might produce a um, linked website about that artist. And so in year 12 we did lots of practice on um, editing and on you know, image manipulation and all the different skills that you're going to need and then in year 13 you will have a choice of eight different briefs um, and 
when you are um, looking at those briefs you will find that with each brief you normally get a choice of three different mediums so it might say you do moving image and then you can do web or print um, or it might say you do a magazine article and then to go with it you do um, a radio show or a snippet from a TV show. So there's lots and lots of scope to create what, what you would like, um, lots and lots of different genres in there as well. Um, and obviously you will have the benefit of all of our production facilities, so the benefit of our um, studio, um, the benefit of our software which we are currently using DaVinci Resolve, um, the industry standard cameras and grip equipment and those kinds of things to enable you to produce a really, really professional product. It also means um, that if you produce um, moving image text, that you can enter that for the Rawlins Film Showcase um, and try and win the coveted plastic Oscar that we give away every year. In terms of assessment, the course has two externally assessed components, so two exams and an internally, ex internally assessed component, which is your NEA, your coursework. Um, so the internally assessed unit creating the media is worth 30% and your externally assessed units are worth 35% each. So who is this course suitable for? Well, this course is for you if you want to develop valuable transferable skills like critical thinking, analysis, research, time management. Um, it really, really does go well with courses um, obviously like Film Studies A-Level, uh, but also courses like sociology, courses like English literature and drama. Um, it goes well with any of the humanities, um, so history, geography, um, and it um, would go really brilliantly um, if you're choosing to take the extended project qualification because they're similar transferable skills. Um, it would also be for you if you would like to develop your practical skills of planning, um, creativity, pre and post production and evaluation across a range of media texts. Um, it's for you if you work well independently but also work well as part of a team because when you move on to your productions you're going to have to be helping each other out in some of the different roles so um, you need that kind of team ethos behind you. Um, and it's a good course for those who like to have a combination of examined units and coursework so that not everything is resting on those, those final written pieces. You don't need to have taken media or film at GCSE to take this course. Um, we will equip you with all the skills that you need to succeed. Our expectations of you. Well, we do not expect you to have your own equipment to take this course. Uh, we have industry standard cameras and a whole host of other equipment that you can use and you can book out to take home, that's absolutely fine. Um, obviously we do a we do expect that is treated with respect by students. Regular deadlines mean that we can make informed choices about your progress and informed decisions about your progress and think about where um, you might need additional support. Um, so we do expect you to meet your deadlines um, so that we can ensure that you progress successfully. In terms of enrichment opportunities, um, there are a range of things that you might like to get involved in as a media student at Rawlins. Uh, we have Raw TV which is our student led TV station and this is where we cover events in the life of the school such as Red Nose Day, Bake Off. Um, we do have a number of uh, media industry talks such as from the BBC and the BBFC. Uh, we do have quite a lot of um, links from former students who have gone to work in the industry and they are always quite keen to come back. Um, so we can organise um, visits to media workplaces, um, we've organised uh, overseas trips such as to the um, Media Live conference at Disneyland Paris, um, we've also thought about um, organising a media trip to uh, Berlin which was put on hold um, but we're hoping to get that up and running soon. Um, we encourage lots of entry into film competitions and film festivals and we we get lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots of information through about those. Um, and we often, students often get involved in community media projects where um, groups from outside the school might be asking for our help and that sort of thing looks really, really good on sort of UCAS applications and those kind of things if you've got out there and helped um, with some kind of project outside of school. 
So uh, we really hope that um, has given you the information that you need. Um, but of course, if you uh, would like to know more, I'm Miss Carter Bland and um, you can contact me on the email address that is on the screen um, or any other media teacher to find out a little bit more information if you need to. Um, but for now, that's a wrap. <laughs>